Kathy here. And if you follow me on Instagram and seen some of my pictures on our community tab, you'll know I'm a little plant obsessed. Um, my biggest thing right now is starting seeds. And I have this little lemon grove that I've started. So I thought I'll share with you how I did my little lemon grove. So um, first thing I would talk about is lemons. Uh, you really want to pick a nice organic lemon and uh, wash the outside really well. Even though it's organic, I always like to wash any fruit before I cut into it. Um, just because you don't know who's handled your fruit as well. Um, and I'm going to cut the ends, the slice the ends off. And we want to get in to the inside here. And what I'm going to do is cut it lengthways, like so. And you might hit a seed, but that's okay because there are tons of seeds on the inside usually. Um, so we're going to go this way now and see what we can find. Oh, there's a little guy. So we'll, we'll take him out. Uh, usually... You can just slide your knife in and find them. Um, gosh, go figure. I probably picked a lemon that doesn't have very many seeds in it. Uh, let me see. I don't see many in here. So we'll, we'll see what the other uh, sections of lemon hold here. I do have one, but anyway. I do want more. Uh, you know, an interesting tidbit. I uh, tried to do this with a lime. And little did I know that limes that you buy from the supermarket will not usually have seeds in them. They're a certain type of lime. Uh, and they're, they're made, I think, in, to enhance the shelf life, what, whatever but they usually don't have seeds. Now look at this little lemon. Really, I can't believe it only has one seed in here. Usually I get six or seven seeds. <laughs> Let me see. I'm not finding any. Is there another one here? If not, that's okay. I can show you with the one we have. See, I I'll have to put this in some seven up. Anyway, you're going to find usually more than one seed, but that's okay. I'm not going to cut up another lemon. You want to take a paper towel and clean a lot of that, the pulp that's still on the seed. You want to clean that off. Makes it a little bit easier to handle, not much. And now what you want to do is there's a little covering on the seed itself, and you want to take that off. And so you very carefully want to use your knife or whatever you have handy to just try and peel that outer covering away and it's not going to be an easy job. I should have had one of these done already because this is going to take a while because this sucker's slippery. So take your time. You don't want to cut yourself. Just take your time and eventually you'll get to where this little outer shell will come off. And mine is like almost there. Just from fiddling with it. Okay, so see? Let me get close here. Under the light. Maybe you can see this. Hang on. Let me try and zoom in here. You can see, see this little covering has come off of the seed. And, and that's just on one side. So you want to try and peel the whole thing off and uncover the seed that's on the inside. There we go. 
we're getting there. So just try and get as much of that off. Makes it much easier for the seed to germinate. You can see what I've peeled off. Here's the seed and here's the, the peel. So let me set you back up here. So that, zoom out, you want to get all your seeds peeled. And then what we're going to do is you line them up on a paper towel. I'm only going to use half because I only have the one seed here. And here we'll fold this up. So you've got your little seed on your paper towel. Excuse me. And we're going to just mist using water, of course. Just mist the paper towel until it's damp. You don't want soaking wet, just damp. And then we're going to fold the paper towel around our seeds. And these sides are still dry. So we're going to mist again, like so. You'll notice you can pat it. There's not any water dripping out. It's just lightly damp. And then you want to take a little Ziploc sandwich baggie and put your seed in here. And we're going to try and get out as much of the air as possible before we zipper this baby shut. And voila. And just like so, I just fold it up like this, and I put this underneath my kitchen sink. And leave it there for at least a week and check on it. I got a thunderstorm rolling through. Um, and then check on it after a week. And if you check on it in a week, you might get something. Let me put those to the side. That looks like this. So these are ones that I started, yeah, just like eight days ago. I've been checking on them at the last few days just to make sure we we're going. And all these lemons came from, or all these seeds came from one lemon. So you can see I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six seeds. And this one's just barely germinated, but we'll plant it too. Um, so you've got six seeds there and I am going to plant these now Let me bring you down. Hold on just a second. Let me pause you and bring you down here If I can find a pause Hold on pause. All right, I just had to bring you down a little bit closer closer to the action so I've got my seeds here now, if you look carefully at the seed, <laughs> sliding in here is terrible. Anyway, you'll see the seed and you'll see this part. Now, most people would think you plant a seed and what grows up out of the seed is the plant. In this case, it's not. This is the root. So when you plant this, you want to make sure the root is going down into the soil. So I'm going to show you now how I planted my first seedlings and why I'm changing it up this time. The first seedlings I planted, I took a two liter soda bottle and I cut it in half, put some holes in the bottom, uh, put some gravel and then my potting mix. And I filled it pretty much up to here actually. Uh, and then I planted my seedlings in here and I just let them grow for like a month and a half. Um, on the second part of this video, you'll see those seedlings and you'll see me planting them into their final containers. But uh, I want to explain why I'm changing it up this time. Um, if I want to keep these small, this probably wasn't the container to do it. It's harder to plant them in a shallow dish when you've raised them in a deeper dish because they they go straight down with their roots and then when you're trying to plant them in a shallow dish like I said you'll see it in the next section it's a little difficult to get that root to lay down uh, you don't want to break it so it's it's a little tedious 
So with these little guys, I decided I'm going to use this dish. This is a, a nice ceramic uh, pot with a drainage hole and this little bamboo uh, tray to catch any water that might run out. And this is what I'm going to use for these guys. I figure because the, the roots will only be able to go down so far in this before they'll start traveling outwards. And so I'm going to try this one. Um, what I'm going to do is I have some of this white um, white gravel and I'm just going to put whatever I have left in here. It's not much. Not much, just a little bit. Just in the bottom. Kind of covering the drainage hole with a big piece there. And then for my mix right here, I have a mix of uh, good miracle Grow potting soil is what I use. And uh, so I've got about 60% uh, of that. And then I put in about 40% uh, of um, uh, Bonsai Jack. Uh, Bonsai Jack, I believe is the brand name. It's a, a coarse uh, pebbly mixture for bonsai plants. And I just figured this will give it some really good drainage. Um, and then also having such good drainage means you'll probably have to water more. So that being said, I'm just going to start filling this pot for my little seedlings. Um, and having a good grow light is essential for this as well. If you're growing these inside, you want to get some good growth. I suggest getting a good grow light. And I will put the link to the one I um, was supplied with. Um, I had this company want, want to send me one of their grow lights to promote their, their light. So I graciously accepted because I love my houseplants, right? So, so anyway, um, I've also, the, the cactus pot or the potting mix for the bonsai it came with this cool little tool. It's like a metal chopstick, which makes making holes really easy. So what I'm going to do is just kind of, let's see, I've got six of these, so I'm going to kind of try and space them apart. Three, let's see, that's got a big piece of gravel or a bark in there, I don't need that. Three, four, five, and six. So I've got my little six holes and I'm going to put each of these into a hole with the little root going down. So just barely, you don't want to cover that top. I'm just barely putting it into the hole. So there's my first one. My second one. So he's just kind of laying on the top. They will spring out, don't worry. There's my third one. And if you follow me on Instagram, um, I will of course post update pictures. Now this little guy, oops, he is barely out of his shell. I'm going to put him down here on the end and just see if he even makes it. Uh, so anyway, we'll put the others in their holes like so. And another right here. And just, just barely into the soil. I'm not putting any more soil on the top. I'm just leaving them like that, and then I'm going to spray mist with my bottle. Now, I will probably use this to mist them daily, if not every other day. Just kind of judge whether your soil is dry or not. I like to keep it slightly damp at all times, not overly wet, though. So you want to make sure those roots start to grow. So those are watered in nice. I'm going to set this under my grow light. Um, I have ordered actually, I've ordered another grow light because I'm going to have more of these trees growing. Um, but anyway, that's, that's how we're going to get these babies to grow. Um, like I said, in the next segment, you're going to be seeing my first batch of these. Um, and uh, they are, I think they were about one and a half months old when I transplanted them. 
and that's what you're going to see next. But I'll show you because this video is taking a while. I'm like <laughs> going back and forth um, between timelines. But these are the ones you'll see me plant next. And look at how big they are. I mean, they're just, they're doing really well. I've got two in this pot. I've got another pot like this with three in it. I ended up with eight plants total. <laughs> I think out of six seeds. And this little guy, you see I've got my little Buddha sitting in here. He was like the littlest straggler. He's like, he's like this last seed. He took forever to come out of the ground. He is, believe it or not, three months old. The same, he's the same age as this tall one. See that? Whoops. Look at that. He's, they're, they're the same age. Same batch of seeds. So anyway, but he's like my favorite. And I'm hoping he makes it. He's got this really cool bent trunk down at the base. And I want to keep him as a bonsai. So, oops. So anyway, that's that's my lemon trees now. And then I, um, I went and bought an Anjou pear at the same market. And I cut it open, hoping to have more than one seed. I only had one seed. And uh, anyway, I got him to germinate uh, this last week. So I planted him yesterday. He was laying on the ground, uh, like laying over onto the soil when I planted him. This is day two, and he's reaching for the sky. Uh, my little Anjou pear. So anyway, uh, like I said, this next section, you'll see me planting or transplanting these into their pots. So uh, without further ado, we'll move on to the next section and uh, we'll let you see me transplanting those. Okay, so now I've come to the part where I'm going to be transplanting my big seedlings. Now, like I said, these are about a month and a half old. They've been grown under a grow light, as a full spectrum uh, LED grow light. And what I've chosen for pots, I'm gonna do two in each pot. These are little six inch bonsai um, pots. They do have a drainage hole in the bottom and a little bamboo tray for underneath. I've put some white rock in the bottom to help with drainage. Uh, for mix, I have mixed together, uh, if you can see here, some of the uh, potting soil that they were growing in, along with uh, bonsai jack mix here, bonsai jack mix, and also a little bit of sphagnum moss. Um, so I, I will see how that does uh, with these little guys. Um, they won't probably stay in these pots forever, but I'm assuming uh, they'll be in here a good portion of the next year as long as they live. <laughs> Being as I've never done lemon trees before, um, we shall see how it goes. So I put a little bit of the soil in here. Uh, this one I'm going to take, whoops, if you look very carefully, this one seed has produced three, one, two, three uh, little trees. So I'm going to put this all in one. I'm going to be spreading the roots apart and kind of to lay them flat like so. Oh, where's my little, oh, there he is. Well, I guess he's a separate one. Anyway, we'll put him in there very carefully. And we'll spread these guys out flat, kind of about a third of the way into the pot. Oh, come on. This might be a little tricky. Like I said, they all grew together, these guys. So we'll just put some soil around them here, get them to kind of stand on their own here. And this guy, we'll just kind of push him down into the mix. 
trying to be very gentle, but I want them to be standing upright also. So, oh, come on. Being a little difficult. Anyway, we'll put some more soil on top and hopefully that will get him to help stand up straight. <laughs> And then we'll put another one in there with uh, probably this this big guy here. Um, like so, I'm pushing the roots down. The reason I didn't want to use pure um, Bonsai Jack mix is because I thought they needed a little bit more like organic matter from the potting soil. Um, beans there a citrus tree so hopefully this will work now with if it was strict bonsai soil I know I'd have to water them like two times a day uh, hoping I won't have to water quite that often with these guys so, so there's my first little pot, and we're going to do the same to the second. Um, I might add, well, I'm not going to add any um, white rock to the top of this, just because I want to make sure these guys do okay. Uh, when they get a little more established here in the next few weeks, I'm going to be feeding them with some uh, citrus food. This is what I got, Jack's Classic Citrus Feed. Um, so hopefully they'll like that. But they might be a little shocked right now from being moved into a new pot. So I'm going to let them sit for a day, and then and then I'll water them in really well. Actually, no, I might water them in well tonight. Just give them a good drink. I'll make my mind up one of these days. <laughs> so I'm going to pop these guys up. We'll spread that out and get these last two. So see, there's, there's actually two here coming out of the same, the same seed. So we will try and get him to stay. Let me uh, put some of this soil on either side here. And just lightly press down. And then do the same with this beautiful specimen and so hopefully these these uh, roots will start growing out uh, instead of down they'll start spreading out throughout the pot they were in a deeper pot so naturally they wanted to uh, go deep but now we're going to train them to go out hopefully so, a little more on this side because he wants to lay down. I thought about putting some little stakes to help them stand up, but I'm hoping maybe, maybe if I mound the soil on one side, that will help. Bandit, don't start barking. No, 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 no. Stop. Hey. Boys, hear something outside. So there we've got this, this little one potted up. Um, we've got the other one potted. I'm gonna put the rest of the soil in there. I don't have too much left in this, in this container. So we'll go ahead and put some more in there. And just give a little shake into the other one. 
And now I'm going to save this pot. I'm actually, uh, I'm potting these on the same day that I showed you how to put the seeds in the paper and put them under the sink. But you're going to get to, you're viewing this after we see the sprouts. So <laughs> it's a little confusing. I'm, I'm piecing together videos from different times. So, But here we go. So we're going to give these a nice little drink. I'm going to put them back on the shelf under my grow light just to encourage them to perk right up and uh, and stand up straight hopefully like this little guy he wants to really lay down anyway stand up so I'll give him a drink and we'll put him back under the grow light and uh, we'll check back in on them in about another month and see how they're doing then. Um, so uh, until my next plant update, this is uh, planting my uh, little lemons that I've grown from seed and uh, give it a try and let me know how it works for you. Thanks for watching my little video and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.